Let's go to Irvine, California and talk to Professor Nader Bagherzadeh. Welcome to the program, sir. Professor, why is it that Washington practically is disturbing the situation? Um, I think uh, th there is some concern about uh, what would happen to the final uh, discussion, final agreement. As uh, I think you mentioned in your program, uh, the position that has been made by Iranian officials is that uh, we will not dismantle any of the equipment. Perhaps even the Iraq, uh, Iraq uh, facility will go on. And uh, Dr. Salehi has made some uh, comments recently that has made it to the news organizations. Uh, items uh, to report. Uh, so there are discussions that are the two sides are very far apart. And I think there is some concern about, uh, again, what has been said in the news, that the French have uh, really uh, taken uh, flights to Tehran to start uh, negotiations and uh, start new uh, joint projects. So that might be a combination of these concerns. But the good part is that uh, uh, Senator Mendez, uh, as you may have reported in your program, has decided to uh, pause and not push for that uh, sanction. So that's really a good and plus for Mr. Obama's uh, administration to see what will happen. And what do you think the consequences would be uh, if Washington continues with its political adventurism? I think there will be a problem in, at the end that uh, maybe we don't see anything past the six months uh, agreement. Um, and I think. Uh, this will not be a good thing in terms of uh, what are the processes that have to be done to solve this issue diplomatically. Uh, any adventurism will result in uh, non-diplomatic solutions, which is not good for neither side. It's not good for the region. And uh, if you recall, Dr. S uh, Dr. Saleh has said yesterday that we even tried to allay your concerns about the Iraq uh, nuclear uh, power plant, which is a heavy water uh, power plant. And uh, I think there are some design issues that they can do that uh, reduces the concern. And also, what has to be reminded that there is no reprocessing in Iran. So none of that potentially uh, dangerous plutonium can be extracted like it was done in India or Pakistan or, or Pakistan is doing it and Israel did it 50, 60 years ago. So there should be no concern. And Dr. Saleh also mentioned that it takes four to five years for anything to be done, because there's another year and a half of uh, construction, the fuel has to be tested, and then it will be another year or so for the fuel to cool down if anybody wants to do anything uh, dangerous and uh, take the plutonium out, if there is a reprocessing facility in Iran which doesn't exist. So it's four to five years, should not be a concern anyway for the near term. All right, we'll leave it there for the time. Thanks to Professor Nader Borghazadeh from Irvine, California. As always, thanks for your time there, sir.